you know, I've heard you use the term in the past, and again, nobody has a crystal ball, but I've heard you use the term in the past, the bond market is screaming, yeah. right? <laughs> I hope I like, because it, it, it gets your attention, one, but also right now you've seen areas in the market, um, you know, technology hitting new highs of late, other areas of equities maybe not recovering as quickly, but bond yields, I feel like, not just in the U.S., but globally, continue to just go lower, right? They're, they're inching lower or staying very low in most cases. I mean, what, what, is, what does that mean to you? I'm just curious. Yeah, so, so that comment, the bond market is screaming, is definitely talking about the 10-year treasury. Um, the 10-year treasury in many asset allocation models is considered the risk-free rate. Um, and 10-year yields right now being around 65 basis points, it's screaming to the market, go risk off. You know, it's not saying take equity risk. It's not saying take credit spread risk. If you just look at the 10-year rate, it's saying, you know, the world's about to end. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy how, how expensive government bonds are. And now policy rates are, are very low, but normally um, the yield curve has about two to two and a half percent difference between front-dated policy rates and long-dated rates. And it's not normal right now because it's so flat. And that's largely a result of, I think, investors' expectations almost uniformly right now think that there is going to be deflation uh, in, in today's environment. And, and you're seeing that as a result of why people are willing to own duration um, with such a bad risk reward at this uh, this level of yields. 